Welcome back, everyone. Showing us how to turn our yards into a very kid-friendly flying saucer alien invasion that the whole neighborhood will be envious of are Orly and Paige. This is the coolest idea. Have you ever? Never. I have it's never. It's so cute. It's the best thing. Everyone's walking by it. It's like your heart skips a beat. It is so, so cute and, and so And I know special. this is supposed to be just for kids, <laughs> but it's more for us. More for us. I, I know, mean, we are so having fun. so much fun doing All right, so this. what inspired this, ladies? So this was a, 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 you know, a letter sent from another amazing viewer of ours, Barbara Taylor, and she was talking about how she wants to do something for her son for the school, and she wants to do something for Halloween that's not too spooky, because they're at an age where maybe they can get scared. Right. So something that's playful and sweet and fun. And this is such a cool idea, because number one, we're using things you would never expect, mm -hmm. and two, it's almost like a, uh, it's something, like a, it's a way that the entire neighborhood could get involved, because yeah. you could just go steps down the line. It's like, like an assembly line. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. So it's a really cool way to get everyone involved and really be the talk of the neighborhood. Okay, so you made the alien invaders, and yes. Paige, you made their transportation. Yes. <laughs> so let's start with our little aliens first. Show us how you yes. made this army of aliens. All right, let's take a look. So you can see as we start off, I've just got a plain pumpkin there, and we're painting the top half green and the bottom half purple. Now, that's a perfectly clean line, but you don't have to focus too much on the line, because we're going to be hiding that seam with a pool noodle. Okay. So here's a pool noodle. It's been sliced right in half lengthwise, and we're using low temp hot glue in order to attach it. You're going to lose use low temp for this entire project. Wrap it around, hiding the seam, and then a little bit of painter's tape is going to help keep this in place while the glue dries. Okay. So these are our arms. Now, what we're doing is creating a little, like a wedge that you take out, and that creates it's a perfect little crease for an elbow. So as you can see, each of the aliens or little Martian guys have these bent arms. So again, you're gonna use the tape in order to keep it in place while the glue dries. And there you go, there's our little arm. Huh. You attach the arm to the pumpkin with hot glue. And again, we're gonna use tape. It's really important because it takes a minute for that tape, uh, glue, excuse me, to dry. And you do low setting. Low probably. setting. Uh, okay. The legs are the exact same length, just minus the little wedge. So you can cut a bunch of pool noodles all at once. Now these are actually called craft plaques. And you could use a simple one by four if you wanted to, but these are really nice. We pre-drilled a hole that was the size of our dowel, set the dowel in with hot glue, and then that creates the base for our Martian. So then that whole oh. little guy pops right on there. So I can't. Cute. I mean, they're really super cute. There's so much There's personality. There's nothing scary about these guys. They're adorable. And All the right, fact so that it was a pumpkin oh, before. Yeah. Yeah. We, we have the pumpkin people. I mean, it's, it's so from amazing. Planet, yeah. From Planet <laughs> Pumpkin. It's amazing. So, so we're going to finish on, it. We're going to move on to the eyes. Now these are just the little like craft rounds. You can buy these like a hundred in a pack. You know, they're mm -hmm. that super thin craft wood. So all we did was paint them and add a little bit of highlights to give them some personality. Now when you put the eyes on, what you'll notice is like a cute way to do it is to kind of have them angled in slightly at the nose. I mean, that they don't really have a nose, but if they did have a nose. <laughs> like in the center. Yeah, it creates like a cute little, uh, He's got a cute little vibe to him. Aww. When his eyes angle oh, yeah, in like yeah. that, right? Like a little wonky. Oh, it's very alien. I know. Yeah, they it's have to It's super that. cute. Aren't so now, those like the traditional aliens look like that? The yeah. traditional ones. Yeah. You know, you These know. are descendants of the, <laughs> yeah, the traditional ones. <laughs> They're traditional. So now we're going to work on our little <laughs> antlers. And what you want to do, or antennas, antlers, Lord. <laughs> they can be antlers. <laughs> antennas. We're going to take pipe cleaner, and we're going to do three of them. And you just want to twist them. And this does two things. One, it looks like a cool little almost braided technique, but it also creates a lot of structure so that they're actually strong enough to hold the okay. antennas. So once you twist, you would cut it right in half, and that gives us a right and a left, Two just like this. All right. So then you so would cute. glue on little foam balls, which we Hold painted. And if you can see the bottom there, when you get to the bottom, you kind of want to open it up so Make it creates a, a, yep, like a little flat base. So now we're just going to glue that on. Would you hold, hold that for guy. me, Deb? Yep. Thank you there so you much. Go. Did I put enough glue, does it feel yeah, like? Yeah, he's okay. good. Uh, this is so cute. So cute. And then the last details, thanks you guys. Page. So the last details are gonna be our hands. Now, you're gonna take the little foam balls that we already painted, and you always wanna use a brush on paint, not a spray paint, because it can eat at the foam. Now just okay. take a pencil to create a couple of holes here. And what you would do is these little holes now are how we're gonna get the, the um, pipe cleaners in. So cut smaller lengths about, I don't know, two inches long, and you would set them in just like that with a little bit of hot glue. And you can see we repeated the process. So your one base gets three holes, and then each of these gets one, and they pop on with hot glue. So they have three fingers. So they've got, so yeah, cute. look at their little. Adorable. So now you're gonna do a good amount of hot glue all the way around, and this is one where either, again, go in and use the painter's tape or so some pins, yeah. And you would it just repeat the process. You do the other hand. We can add just on like a little that. emblem, which we created with some uh, foam core here. I mean, the, the it's emblem. like their little logo. It's it there, is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
It's their little company yeah. logo. Yes. They're adorable. That's so cute. It's, yeah. it's from the, the planet they're from. Exactly. Okay, so while this guy dries and we get his little okay. antennas going. Yeah, we'll keep them arm, drying. Paigey, you yes. created their transportation because yes. what are aliens without a UFO? I know. You have to have a flying saucer. Yes, you do. And I think there's something so cute and romantic about going back in time to whenever these guys came to us, maybe the 50s, and create this flying saucer out of stuff that you already have at home. All or if right. you don't have, you can go down to the store and get some. You will not believe how easy this is, even though, doesn't that look impressive? It's super impressive, Paige. It's All right. so easy. Let me break Walk it down for you. How you okay, so that, the structure you're seeing is just a an umbrella. And you can find this in your patio furniture aisle. And then this is a big tub that you can get from parties. Now I've marked out um, where it's gonna go on our spokes of the umbrella. And I drilled two holes because those are gonna be where we put our zip ties. Those are just the handles that we're taking off the tub. You really wanna just have everything off of it because this will be our carrier. So now you can see I'm putting a zip tie just in one side. I did this three different places all the way around because this is going to attach to the bottom of our umbrella. So I turned the umbrella over, I drilled a hole in the bottom of the tub and you can see the spokes down there. You just tie a little zip tie around them, cut off the excess and this is all you need. It's just three zip ties holding that up, turn it back over and you can see it's just literally you could go to the sales section and get all this stuff. This is a plastic salad bowl. Um, I have a little dowel um, that I'm adding a the bottom of a saucer. So all you do is, um, and, this, and these top little things, these are the tops of little deli cups that you have. I'm putting them down because we're making our antenna. So I oh, use three of those. Smart. You can grab any ball. This is a wooden ball, but you can use styrofoam. Now to the base, I'm just adding some hot glue and I'm gonna put it on our salad bowl, even though <laughs> when all of these things are put together, I mean, they look like so the cool. antenna and perhaps the place that is holding the driver, the cockpit. So I'm just using Fabri-Tac here. You could use hot glue as well, but it really holds to the fabric of the umbrella. Now these are little loot balls, or you can get them at a party store. They hold fun things for parties. I split them apart. They do come apart, they, un they unscrew, and then you set them around all the way around and then spray it with silver spray it's paint. So, cool. so good. Isn't that amazing? Look at how cool this amazing. is. Oh my page, you've thought of everything. Yes. You've also thought of a way to make it look like it's hovering. Like it's yes. literally. Or it's just like landed. they're beaming down yes. this tiny little pumpkin <laughs> people. So okay, so you take LED rope lights. You can get these at any hardware store. And Debbie, I'll have you just hold them up underneath the, the um, flying saucer there. And I'm just gonna take a zip tie. That's it. That's it. And what's great about these ropes is that you can keep them outside. It doesn't matter if they get wet. Yeah, there these we go. are thick. Okay, let's see. And look at that. <gasps> and you can and then spread them all out. Oh my gosh. Yes. Oh my gosh, that's so it looks cool. so fun. It's, and as if that wasn't enough, ladies, you <laughs> put your brains together and you came up with an alternative cockpit. Because yes. This one's closed, but yeah. you figured, you know, we got to have one open. When they so arrive, exactly. you hear that. Yeah. Yes. So when they arrive, the okay. So now the only thing I did different, so still this part is exactly the same as you saw me do already. What I've added is this is a um, a pot. You know, the, like, it's a sure. plastic, like the base yep. for a pot. pot. Exactly. Now I've cut out the middle of the base. We've discarded that. Sure. So now it's just, it's this beautiful ring. Isn't it Same. gorgeous? Um, and then we just added a piece of wood and secured it there. So it looks like it is stuck it. in the open so position. Cute. Yes. So we spray painted this and set it on top of that one. Well, now it obviously needs a pilot it does. to come out when it makes that noise. May like I you said. our oh. pilot? Oh my gosh. Look at how cute. Oh, so in so order cute. to make the pilot, all you do is take the pumpkin and cut him in half. And so you skip the entire bottom step. No arms, no legs. Because when he's set inside, it's going to look like he's peeking his little head out like, anybody there? <laughs> Who lives here? How cute. This is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Can I get a round of applause? Because honestly, yeah. this is amazing. So okay, incredible. I want to show everybody. Look at how great this looks right now during the day. But we took night shots of this. You're going to be the envy of everyone in your neighborhood. Take a look at how beautiful these are. Okay, look at that. It's just oh. a smoke machine. Oh. People are I mean, going it, to be dying. Little kids would feel like they're on a movie set. I, yes. I feel like I'm on a movie set. Yeah, You've done a phenomenal cool. job. My goodness. So Everybody's cute. going to love it. Thank you guys so much for putting thank your brains you. together. And thank you, Barbara. Yes. We really appreciate this that. this helps. We hope that these DIYs make your yard out of this world and that you're the envy of everyone. And if you want to figure out how to make these, you can visit HallmarkChannel.com for the full instructions.